Did you ever want a predator hat that truly looks like a predator and is appropriately titled the Malawi Barracuda? I will show you some comparisons between the saltwater and Lake Malawi Barracuda, and I'll introduce you to a couple large specimens I have in my 500 gallon aquarium. The saltwater barracuda, quite common in the Caribbean and South Atlantic, has a very elongated, stealthy appearance and looks like it is ready to pounce on its prey at any time. Although the freshwater barracuda Rampochromus macrothalmus is not quite as menacing looking as the saltwater barracuda, I'm sure you can see the similarities in body shape, the roving eye, silver color, and most of all the appearance of being a serious predator. The saltwater barracuda has a quite menacing looking set of dentures which it uses to grab and capture its prey. Many divers have been bitten by these large, sharp teeth. They're a serious fighter, combined with their size, speed, and the strength of their attack. The Malawi Barracuda has a similarly built mouth and set of teeth, although again, not quite of the size and scale of the saltwater Barracuda. We are now going to switch gears and visit two specimens of Lake Malawi Barracuda that I have in my 500 gallon aquarium and some of the key species highlights. They are an elongated silvery torpedo shaped fish designed to swim swiftly in pursuit of prey. They are relatively rare in the hobby and the information available I found was somewhat sketchy. They grow to about 12 inches in length and although they're natural born predators in the lakes chasing down and swallowing other fish, these individuals, these two, were raised from fry and ate pellets from day one. An interesting spawning note, it takes place at the surface of the water, and as the eggs fall, the female will catch them in mid-water, almost like betas. I've had my Malawi Barracuda for about six months. I've not experienced any significant aggression issues with them, they've ad and they've adapted well to my multi-species African tank. They're always a joy to show off to friends and especially children who rightfully so find them one of the most intimidating of the African cichlids.